Nightmare Mode is a new unofficial game mode in Old School RuneScape. It's designed by the YouTuber Settled and the rules are very simple. You essentially have one hit point and if you take any damage, you lose your account forever. This makes the entire game incredibly dangerous with all of your account progress on the line at all times. But I won't have to survive for very long. RuneScape Chronicles just released a Nightmare Challenge. In one hour, who can get the highest combat level from scratch? while playing nightmare mode the winner receives 1 billion gp welcome to a nightmare So the rules of this challenge are incredibly simple. I have to start with no stats, level 32, and I have to be a hardcore Iron Man. And I've got to get the highest combat level possible. I have no idea how I'm going to do this, but that's just how I like it. Now, when considering this challenge, you have to choose yourself a combat style. Melee, range, or magic. These are the main drivers of combat level, so picking the right one is essential. I can instantly discount range, because there's no fast way to train range in the early game. On a hardcore Iron Man in one hour, Hour, it's gonna be terrible. Now magic is by far the fastest skill to train from scratch and there are many methods that could get you well into the 30s by the hour mark. The only issue is you have to make money for runes which cuts into the time a lot. But what about melee? Now melee XP early game is primarily driven by questing. Questing is an issue in nightmare mode. Avoiding all sorts of damage from witch's house to tree gnome village is very very unlikely. Now fight arena is very possible on nightmare Nightmare mode, you can dodge the scorpion. Not sure why I'm so fixated on this one. But the whole process is very slow. Now there is a holy grail. The waterfall quest gets you to 30 attack and 30 strength. But to complete that, you have to get past rats, hill giants, bats, goblins, zombies, moss giants, shadow spiders, skeletons, and fire giants. As much as the XP is great, avoiding any damage seems highly unlikely. But highly unlikely doesn't mean impossible. <laughs> While I have a think about this, I have a new quest for you. Bomber Grounds Reborn, today's video partner. Bomber Grounds Reborn is free to download on Android, iOS, and Steam. Battle Royale meets the classic Bomberman game franchise. Bomber Grounds Reborn is a great game to play solo or it's really fun with friends. Strategize, survive, and explode your way to victory. Each character has its own unique abilities and you can level them up to make them even stronger. The new season has just launched so don't miss out on this and if you leave your user ID underneath the pinned comment of this video, Bomber Grounds will select a few winners to receive free gems. And who doesn't like free stuff? The game is super fun and quirky, I love the art style and I definitely think it's worth a look. So download Bomber Grounds Reborn through the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen, it really helps support the channel and thank you to Bomber Grounds for sponsoring today's video. The first of hopefully not too many accounts being made today. Today. In the competition, you do have to be hardcore Iron Man, but this is going to be for testing only. I have to come and see if Waterfall is possible. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't check at least. Even Kemp Q, the founder of the challenge, is saying the odds of this happening is 1 in 100,000. First issue, are these rats aggressive? Yeah. But there is a simple solution to this. If I box this level 1 rat, it has a max hit of 0, and I'm in combat with it, so I can't be hit by the big rats. Next problem, the hill giants kind of hit hard. Oh, this isn't good. I need to get to the Trino Village dungeon and the hill giants are on the path. There's literally no other way for me to get there. But can I lure this goblin? all the way around. It's level five. Come closer. Yes, zeros. That's what I want to see. We can use the rat technique as well with the goblin. Get close enough to the hill giants and then run through while the PJ timer is active. Okay, solved. What isn't solved is the Trino Village Dungeon. Yep, hobgoblins and all sorts of other monsters are all aggressive in here. Running through the cave, on average, you'll take four hits from NPCs, which is not good in nightmare mode. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. NPCs only become a aggressive when you stand right next to them. This cave will be my home for the next few days, developing strategies in and out, in and out until I've perfected a run. The solution is to attack a bat, draw it in, pin it against the wall, and then diagonally run out towards the crate while the other bats aren't around. 
quickly move to trap the bat again in the corner, then stand inside its silhouette with a diagonal run to take no damage. And now I can confidently say that I have the world record for the most hours spent in this RuneScape dungeon. When am I going to get a job? As for the hobgoblins, a little patience and precision means that you can actually pass them without ever getting hit. Although in all likelihood, I'll have to gamble on at least one zero. But for one bill, I quite like these odds. Okay, tutorial island, my first actual run starts now. So one of the rules in the challenge is that you can start at any bank in RuneScape. And strangely, I'm starting at Barbarian Assault. I mean, it's not that strange because it's close to the waterfall quest. Time starts when I leave the bank. Let's go. First thing I'm doing is learning the tutorial from Mr. Captain Kane over here. So I unlock the Barbarian Assault teleport. Yep, okay, I can use the minigame teleport for free now and get back here quickly. And I'm going to Lumbridge. Nothing on this account. It's a fresh account. As soon as I level up, I have to remake if I get hit. I'll step out the way to grab the Iron Man armor. It will weigh me down, but I think the defensive bonuses will be worth it to increase my chances of succeeding on a run. It has the same stats as Iron. Count check to the stronghold. Every NPC is unaggressive on the first floor. There we go. Cash money never seen before. What about these dead trees? There's no lively trees gonna bot me outside the drain of manor, is there? It's better just to be safe and run around the outside. Not today, highwayman. Buy a rope from Ned. Possibly could get clotted by a dark wizard around here. So I'll be Quick, the cannon, the chronicle, and we're out. Everything has to sync up in a straight line. That's the secret in a one hour challenge like this. Runes from Betty and teleport back to Barbarian Assault. I probably saved about five minutes of walking. The waterfall quest in this time. I will actually save time by swimming to this rock rather than using the rope on it. Oh my god, this does damage, isn't it? Am I gonna get it? Oh. Okay, we're good. You know what? Let's test the RNG on the route of the first run. Oh, it's a good day. No time wasted. Stage two, the goblin. Zero. Nice. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. What? I thought I'd have enough time to get through. Oh, no. I've come downstairs. I need to know if this one was the one. I actually would have done it. Well, that's depressing. And we go again. This time, I am using the rat tech. Oh, this goblin's tricky. I can't get him around the corner. I have to tank a hit. Okay, change of pace for my third account. I'm going to train up just below level two in all my stats. So I really am maxing out the combat level just in case I get the completion here. Strategy upgrade. I can attack these rats in the stronghold as I'm getting my 10k and two defense. This one is the one. No, 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 no. I'm manifesting it. I am the chosen one. Summiting the mountain. Taking on the nightmare challenge. I need to tank two goblin hits here. Come on. First one's done. Brilliant. Oh, no, he walked back. No, I choked. Okay, we're good. No, we're not. That would hit me. I'm stuck in between the old chairs. What do I do? Look out, look out, look out, look No! What do you reckon comes first? Winning one bill GP or losing one bill GP in bonds? Go, 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 go. Stop walking. Why are you running a marathon? You're choking me. This shouldn't be this hard. This shouldn't be this hard. Yeah, we're back again. New name. New me. What? Your account has been involved in serious rule breaking. I've been permanently banned for botting. One of the lucky 38, I suppose. New accounts dropped. Strategy switch up. We're doing X marks the spot now. I can incorporate most of the quest, but it does take me out the way a couple of minutes. Step three on the way to Ned. And the final step is on the way to Betty anyway. And this XP lamp is the reason I'm doing the quest. Defense XP, 300 XP. I'm now five defense, so I should be able to tank things slightly better. Don't you dare. Oh no, the hill giant walked towards me. Please say that's enough, Gap. Yes, we made it past UPB. Oh my days. Game faces on. Oh my days. Oh, the goblin's coming closer. I think I'm just going to go. Get around this corner from the bat. Okay. Looking good, the key. Please stay there. Please stay there. Please stay there. Yes. Right. Nice. Beautiful. All I have to do is play it safe. That's so good. Please move north. Yes. Oh my. Nice. Composure. There's no way. The home stretch, the clean run. I didn't have to tag. I had to tag no hits. No hits. Give me the pebble. Right. Nice. Okay. 
We're out. We're done. Oh, that was actually so good. I need to bank all my combat equipment because I can't take it into Claro's tomb. So I'm doing that in Edgeville. Taking the lever back. Oh, if someone was here, I would have cried so hard. Now is time for Glarial's tomb. I've got an interesting plan. It's swarming with monsters in here. But that's a clean entry. I need to be careful. Remember, one hit and it's all over. Get the boundary. Nice. Okay. Pretty much all of these monsters will hit me on the way past, on the way to the chest, on the way to the tomb, everything. But in RuneScape, if you stand in the same zone for over 10 minutes, then monsters become unaggressive to you. As you can see, I've got a timer counting down and an outline of where the monsters will become unaggressive. And this is the clock I need to wait for, for freedom. Until then, I need to dodge any monster that comes my way. Oh, the zombie's coming. No. That did look good. You can get sandwiched there. 10 valuable minutes wasted in this one hour challenge, but it was necessary to grab this urn without any of these monsters attacking me. The only problem is the aggro area can only be so large and it doesn't extend all the way to this chest. As soon as I stand outside of the orange line, everything becomes aggressive to me. I've just got to be patient and take my chance. That's it. I've got to go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Teleport out. Get out of there. Oh, I'm free. Where am I going? I need to go to Barbarian Assault on the minigame. What am I doing? Oh, I'm getting excited. There is just so much at stake right now. It's time for the next problem in the Nightmare Run. The Waterfall Dungeon. This is crawling with NPCs once again, but I can use these rats to box. Does it get me all the way in? No. Oh my god, get back on me. <gasps> the skeleton. Did you see that? The skeleton. Oh, the skeleton's looking at me like it wants to attack me. I'm in combat, right? I need to get that skeleton off me. Beautiful. I've reset its aggro. If that makes sense. I need to swap rats. This rat doesn't get me all the way to the crates. I think it's going to be this rat. Please, hello, attack me. Oh, the spider's getting close. And yeah, no, this is the rat that takes me all the way to the boxes. This is taking a long time, but I can't mess up. One hit and it's all over. All right, let's send it. Let's go. No fire giant hits. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's all the NPCs conquered. There we go. The stimulus waterfall. You know the score. 30 attack, 30 strength. I've got five defense. I'm 23 combat. And I've got time left to train some more stats. Oh, that is so good. I genuinely thought... That might not be possible in the four days that I have right now. Don't worry. Seagulls can't do damage to me. They're the best thing I can train on right now that can't hit back. And I'm going to camp out here for the rest of my days with the Goblin Paint Kellen, which is three ticks. It's a faster attack weapon than an Addy Sword and is slightly better DPS. And I'm going to take these bones, bury the bones for prayer levels to give combat levels and defense training all the way. Oh my God, what is wrong with this stupid seagull? It keeps going out there. I keep running out of run energy. This is really bad. No way. The RNG on that. I just got a strange, I got a strange fruit random event. No, that's actually huge. The run energy. 30% run energy. I can now run between the seagulls. I've been sweating on my positioning so much. Oh, 44 XP off a of defense level. It's, I don't know when the time is going to stop. I don't know when the time is going to stop. 12 XP, please. 20 defense. What's that? 29 combat. Nice. I, maybe I made that. I don't even know. Do I not have enough time to get a prayer level? I think that's it. I think that is an hour. Level 29 combat in one hour. Nightmare mode style. 30 attack, 30 strength, 20 defense, 15 hit points. Hopefully this is it. 29 combat. I'm praying I haven't overlooked anything here. In the way you might have overlooked subscribing to this channel. And as you might have seen, I'm now 1 billion GP richer. But more importantly, I won, which is always very fun. I love pushing myself with the challenge of these competitions. So a massive thank you to RuneScape Chronicles for hosting this event and for Settled for creating such a thrilling game mode. And don't forget to download Bomberground Reborn through the link in the description. Enjoy yourselves and I'll see you next time.